Mom abandoned baby born without eyes, then something unbelievable happened to him. When a young mother in Russia gave birth to her son and realized he had been born without eyes, she made the heartbreaking decision to leave him at the hospital. She was consumed with fear for his future, wondering if he would ever find a family who could truly love and care for him. She imagined the struggles he would face and felt deeply uncertain about what his life might hold. Soon after, the orphanage took on the mission to find little Sasha a family, someone who could provide him with the love and stability he deserved. And then something amazing happened, something that would forever change his story in ways no one could have imagined. But to truly understand, let's go back to where it all started. Sasha's mother had a difficult pregnancy, one filled with uncertainty and anxiety. At 31 weeks, she went for a routine checkup. She was excited, but also filled with nerves. This was her first child, and she didn't have much. She often questioned if she was really prepared for the journey of motherhood. From the beginning of her pregnancy, worries lingered in her mind. Would she be able to give her child everything he needed? Could she handle the responsibility on her own? During that routine checkup, she sensed something was off. She noticed the nurses exchanging uneasy glances, whispering quietly to each other. Her heart began to pound as they brought a doctor into the room. The tension was almost tangible, and she felt an unusual pain, a sign that something wasn't right. Her heart raced, and dread began to settle in. Then came the news she hadn't been prepared for. The doctor explained that there was a serious problem with her baby's eyes. He would most likely be born without them. In complete shock, she left the hospital, feeling lost and heartbroken. As she made her way home, her mind raced with questions. How would her son experience the world without sight? What kind of life could he lead? And more pressing, did she have the resources, the strength, and the support to provide him with the care he would need for a condition as rare and complex as this? As her due date approached, the weight of this decision pressed down on her even more heavily. Finally, she made the heart-wrenching choice to put her baby up for adoption. She felt like she didn't have any other option. She had no family to lean on, no friends to help, and the thought of raising a blind child on her own was too overwhelming. When she gave birth, she couldn't even bring herself to look at him, fearing that one glance might change her mind and make her unable to walk away. Her heart broke as she handed him over to the doctors and nurses, knowing he would go into an unknown future. She left the hospital in tears, still unsure if she had made the right decision. It felt like the worst-case scenario had come true. Little Sasha was indeed born without eyeballs, a condition so rare that he was one of only three children in Russia known to have it. This condition, called SOX2 and ophthalmia syndrome, usually comes with other serious health issues like cognitive impairments, speech difficulties, and hearing loss. It only affects one in every 250,000 births. But despite all the odds, Sasha amazed the doctors. Against expectations, he didn't have any of the other health issues that usually accompany his condition. He was healthy, strong, and full of life. His resilience left the medical staff in awe. Sasha had two small cysts on his forehead, but they were benign and were removed easily. Beyond his blindness, he didn't seem to have any other problems. He was a happy, lively baby who quickly captured the hearts of everyone at the hospital with his big, warm smiles. When Sasha was finally ready to leave the hospital, he was sent to a local orphanage in Tomsk, Russia. The doctors and nurses who had cared for him were sad to see him go and worried about his future. They knew his condition would make it hard for him to find a family, even though he was perfectly healthy aside from his blindness. The hospital staff waved goodbye to him, feeling a mixture of pride and sadness. He'd become so loved in his short time with them, and it broke their hearts to know he'd have to face the challenges of life without a family by his side. But Sasha's spirit never wavered. At the orphanage, he charmed everyone just as he had at the hospital. His smile was contagious, lifting the spirits of all the staff, even on the hardest days. The orphanage knew that Sasha could thrive in a loving home, but they also knew it would be incredibly challenging to find him that special family. He would need ongoing care, and due to his condition, 
he would have to undergo surgeries every six months to replace his eye orbs, which were implanted to prevent facial deformities. This treatment wouldn't give him sight, but it would help his face develop normally, allowing him to look like any other child and giving him the best chance at a normal life. One nurse at the orphanage grew especially attached to Sasha. She loved his cheerful, playful personality, and it broke her heart to think of him not finding a home. This nurse decided to accompany Sasha to Street Petersburg when it was time for his operation. She wanted him to have a familiar face nearby, even though he wouldn't be able to see her. She believed that he would feel her presence and find comfort in it. So she sat in the hospital's waiting room, praying silently for him. After a few hours, the doctors told her that the surgery had gone perfectly and Sasha was doing well. When she entered the room, Sasha immediately broke into a huge smile, as if he somehow sensed she was there, even though he couldn't see her. The nurse smiled back, feeling a connection that went beyond words. She believed he could feel how much she cared for him, and it made her even more determined to help him find a family who would love him as much as she did. With Sasha's medical plan now in place, the orphanage began the tough task of finding him a family. They wanted someone who could handle the regular treatments and surgeries he'd need, but they also wanted a family who would see Sasha for who he was, a joyful, loving little boy. But each time a family visited the orphanage, Sasha's condition seemed to overshadow everything else. Many families saw only a child with a disability. They didn't see the bright smile that lit up the room or his playful personality. They didn't see the way he loved playing with the other children or the pure joy he felt when he went swimming. Sasha was just a blind child to them, and they couldn't look past that. As Christmas approached, the orphanage became a bustling place, decorated with Christmas trees and ornaments. Many children found new families around the holiday season, and usually, this time of year brought excitement and happiness. But this year, for those who knew and loved Sasha, there was a sense of sadness. They couldn't fully enjoy the celebrations, knowing Sasha was still waiting, still hoping, for a family to call his own. Everyone at the orphanage wished for the same thing, that someone would finally see Sasha's light and give him the love and support he so deeply deserved. To help prevent any facial deformities as he grew, Sasha had small eye orbs implanted. These orbs wouldn't let him see, but they keep his face looking just like any other child's as he grew. The implants would need to be replaced every six months, adjusted to match his changing face. While Sasha would never have vision, being born blind meant he wouldn't know any different. With the right environment, he could grow up and thrive just like any other child. His caretakers believed that with these implants, Sasha could enjoy as normal a life as possible, given his condition. One nurse at the orphanage had grown very attached to Sasha. The thought of him never finding a family broke her heart. She was naturally loving and compassionate, and she wanted the best for this little boy. When it came time for Sasha's surgery to replace the orbs, she decided to travel to Street Petersburg with him. She wanted to make sure he had a familiar presence nearby, even though he was still too young to fully understand. She knew he wouldn't see her face, but she was certain he'd feel her presence and be comforted by it. In the hospital's waiting room, she sat silently, praying that everything would go smoothly. It seemed like such a big procedure for such a tiny boy. After a few hours, the doctors came out and told her the operation had gone perfectly and Sasha was doing well. Relieved, she entered his hospital room, and the moment Sasha heard her voice, a huge smile spread across his face. It was as if nothing could dampen his brave spirit. The nurse couldn't help but smile back, even though she knew Sasha couldn't see it. She felt, deep down, that he somehow knew how happy she was. With a clear medical plan now in place, the orphanage could begin focusing on the difficult task of finding Sasha a family. They needed someone who would be able to take him to these operations twice a year and handle the unique challenges his condition brought. But, more importantly, they needed a family that could see beyond Sasha's medical needs, a family who would love him for the joyful, playful child he was. But no one anticipated just how difficult this task would be. Every time a prospective family came to the orphanage, Sasha was met with looks of pity or 
Worse, outright discomfort. Many families weren't interested in hearing Sasha's story once they learned he was born blind. They overlooked the details that made him so special, his beautiful smile, his gentle nature, the way he loved playing with other children, and how much joy he got from splashing in the water when he went swimming. To them, he was simply the blind child, and nothing else seemed to matter. As Christmas approached, the orphanage became a lively place, decorated with Christmas trees, lights, and ornaments. The children's excitement filled the air, and as usual, the staff worked hard to bring the magic of the season to life. The orphanage had seen many children find new families during the holidays in previous years, so there was usually a festive, joyful spirit. But this year, for those who care for Sasha, there was a quiet sadness that lingered. Everyone knew there was a high chance that Sasha would spend his first Christmas at the orphanage instead of with a family. The staff did everything they could to make Christmas special, but they knew that the warmth of a family holiday was something they simply couldn't recreate. Sasha was on everyone's minds, and they couldn't shake the hope that somehow, a miracle might happen for him. The staff wanted each child in their care to go to a loving home, but Sasha had touched them all in a special way. They wished they could do something more, something to help people see beyond his blindness and recognize the wonderful, spirited child that he was. And so, they came together to form a plan to give Sasha his best chance at finding a family. The nurse who had traveled with Sasha for his surgery had an idea. She suggested they reach out to a journalist who could write about Sasha and share his story. This could be a way to show people just how remarkable he was to let them see the joyful child behind the medical condition. It was a risky move though, and the orphanage staff worried about making Sasha a media spectacle. They didn't want him to be seen as an object of pity or to compromise his safety. This had to be done carefully, with respect and love. After searching for someone who could tell Sasha's story with the sensitivity it needed, the orphanage met a journalist named Svetlana Kova. Right away, they knew she was the right person. Svetlana had a warm presence, and she genuinely cared about sharing stories that made a difference. She agreed to meet Sasha and promised she'd handle his story with care. The orphanage team worked together to build a perfect adoption profile for Sasha. They shared little moments about him, how he always smiled when he had a familiar voice, his excitement when he played in the water, and how he connected with people even though he couldn't see them. They wanted to paint a picture of the happy, resilient boy Sasha was, hoping that the right family would see what they all saw in him. Meanwhile, Svetlana got to work on an article that would truly capture Sasha's spirit and tell the world how special he was. She poured her heart into the piece, sharing the story of this happy, resilient baby who just needed a loving family. Within days of her article being published in the local paper, Sasha's story began to spread. News outlets from all over picked it up, eager to share the story of a baby boy who just wanted a home for Christmas. The staff at the orphanage couldn't believe the attention Sasha was receiving. They had hoped that Svetlana's article might inspire some interest within Russia, but they never expected the story to go global. Sasha, once a baby with no one inquiring about him, was now the focus of people around the world. Families from many different countries reached out, expressing interest in adopting Sasha. The orphanage staff felt overwhelmed as they watched Sasha's story touch hearts far and wide. But along with this incredible response came a daunting task. They now had to carefully sift through all the adoption requests for this little boy. While the orphanage was thrilled that people were finally seeing Sasha's beauty, they hoped he could stay close by. They wanted him to go to a family in Russia, where adoption authorities could more easily ensure he was getting the right care. Sorting through the many applications, the staff felt both excitement and caution. They knew that, while it was amazing to see Sasha's story reach across borders, they had to think carefully about his future. Adoption officials were faced with tough decisions. Should they allow Sasha to be adopted outside of Russia, or should they wait for a family within the country? As they considered each option, Sasha's journey took a miraculous turn just as Christmas drew near. Among all the inquiries from around the globe, 
they received an application from a family right there in Russia. This was unexpected, as they hadn't yet found a suitable family nearby who could give Sasha the support he'd need. Finally, there was a real possibility that Sasha might be able to stay in his home country. The officials approached this application with the utmost care. They wanted to be absolutely certain this was the right fit for Sasha. Just because a family was local didn't mean they were a perfect match. Sasha needed a family who could handle the unique responsibilities that came with his medical needs, and he deserved parents who would love him unconditionally. The team reviewed every detail of the family's application, and everything seemed to fall into place. The family was genuine, prepared, and eager to welcome Sasha into their lives. The orphanage invited them to meet Sasha, hoping this would be the start of something beautiful. When the big day arrived, the entire orphanage was on edge. Everyone had grown so attached to Sasha, and they desperately wanted this meeting to work out. But they knew better than to get their hopes too high, just in case things didn't go as planned. The tension was thick in the air as the family approached the orphanage, but the moment they stepped inside, a calmness washed over everyone. There was a warmth about them that immediately set everyone at ease. When the family met Sasha, his face lit up with a huge smile, as if he could sense the kindness and love radiating from them. It was a magical moment, and everyone watching felt a deep sense of relief and joy. The family spent the entire afternoon at the orphanage, playing with Sasha, holding him, and learning about the medical care he would need. They asked thoughtful questions, wanting to understand every aspect of his condition, including the operations he'd need every six months. It was clear that they weren't just interested, they were committed. Seeing Sasha with the family, the orphanage staff couldn't help but feel hopeful. The way he responded to them, the way they seemed so willing to learn and take on the responsibilities of his care, it all felt right. The family didn't see Sasha as just a child with a disability. They saw him as a beautiful little boy, full of life and joy. It was exactly what the orphanage had dreamed of. As the visit came to an end, the family shared with the staff that they had been following Sasha's story since it first appeared in the local paper. They felt drawn to him, and they believed it was meant to be. Sasha had a way of capturing hearts without even trying, and in that moment, it was clear that he had captured theirs. The staff could see how genuine they were, and they began to feel a quiet sense of optimism. Maybe just maybe, this family was the miracle Sasha had been waiting for. In the days that followed, the adoption process began to move forward. There were still many details to work out, but the family's commitment never wavered. They attended meetings, completed every required assessment, and took time to fully understand Sasha's needs. They even began preparing their home, making sure it was a safe, welcoming space where Sasha could grow and thrive. Every step they took reassured the orphanage staff that this was truly the family Sasha was meant to have. Finally, as Christmas approached, the adoption was approved. Sasha would be spending his first Christmas with his new family. The joy and relief that swept through the orphanage were indescribable. Staff members who had cared for Sasha since he arrived could hardly believe it. After all the uncertainty, after all the waiting, Sasha had found his family. The staff gathered to say their goodbyes, each one offering Sasha a final hug, a kiss on the cheek, or a whispered blessing. They had all loved him like family, and letting him go was bittersweet, but seeing him with his new family filled their hearts with happiness. They knew that Sasha was going to be loved and cared for in ways they had always dreamed for him. As Sasha left the orphanage with his new family, the staff couldn't help but feel a little lighter. They had witnessed a true miracle. A boy who had once been left behind now had the love and support he deserved. And as the doors of the orphanage closed behind Sasha, everyone knew that this was only the beginning of a beautiful life filled with joy, love and hope. Nothing deterred the family from embracing Sasha completely. They were more interested in who he was beyond his blindness. They understood that his blindness would always be a part of him, but they didn't see why it should hold him back from living a full and happy life. This was exactly what the orphanage had hoped for Sasha, that he would find a family who looked past his condition and saw him as a child with dreams 
energy, and endless potential. And so, just in time for Christmas, Sasha finally joined his new family. It felt like a true Christmas miracle for everyone who had come to know him over the past few months. People from the orphanage, the hospital staff who had cared for him, and even those who had followed his story from afar were thrilled to know that Sasha had finally found a home. Although the details of his new family were kept private to protect Sasha and his family, a few hints gave a glimpse into the loving life Sasha was stepping into. Svetlana Sova, the journalist whose article had helped spread Sasha's story worldwide, wrote a follow-up piece to let everyone know how this little boy's life had turned out. In her new article, she described Sasha's adoption as something magical, a rare moment of Christmas magic that brought people together and gave this boy a fresh start. She shared that Sasha now had two loving parents and a pair of sisters who welcomed him with open arms. The family even had a cozy house in the countryside, perfect for long, warm summer days. They imagined Sasha playing outside with his sisters, laughing and running through the fresh air, surrounded by the beauty of nature. It was a vision of a life filled with warmth, laughter, and the kind of love Sasha had been waiting for all along. Sasha's new family was overjoyed to have him, ready to take on every challenge and embrace every joy that came with raising a child who couldn't see. They were committed to showing him that his blindness didn't have to limit his life. With their love and support, they believed he could accomplish anything he wanted. Sasha's sisters quickly fell in love with their new little brother. To them, he wasn't different. He was simply their brother, someone they could laugh with, play with, and occasionally squabble with, just like any other siblings. They didn't treat him any differently, and it was as if Sasha had always been part of the family. They found ways to include him in their games and daily activities, making sure he felt he truly belonged. As Christmas lights sparkled throughout Sasha's new home, his family knew that although he couldn't see the decorations, he could certainly feel the magic of the season. The joy, love, and warmth around him were things he sensed deeply. He was finally surrounded by family who loved him without limits, and he was exactly where he was meant to be. Sasha's story touched everyone who heard it. The little boy who had once been left behind was now at the heart of a loving family, with a future full of hope and possibility. His journey from an uncertain beginning to a joyful, loving home was nothing short of a Christmas miracle, one that warmed the hearts of everyone who came to know his story.